I think every pilot has a desire to fly around the world, but it's a pretty unrealistic goal when you're first starting out. Here at age 60, you know, I finally am at a point in my life where I can do it. I'm Adrian Eichhorn, a Airbus A320 pilot for JetBlue, and uh, the first part of April I'm planning to depart on a journey where I fly my own personal airplane, uh, Beechcraft Bonanza, around the world trying to complete the journey in about six weeks. I bought this airplane back in 1989 in something my father told me from when I was a kid. He always said, don't be a jack of all trade. He said, pick one thing, get good at it, or don't do it at all. My biggest obstacle so far has been the unknown. The thing about flying an airplane like this around the world is the type of fuel that I use is not readily available at all the, the places I'm going to. The more planning I put into this, the better it's going to go. And, and I think the only thing that's going to go as planned on this trip is it's not going to go as planned. I have to prepare for the extreme winter in Iceland and Greenland, and then I have to be prepared for the extreme heat of flying through Saudi Arabia and then to Dubai where it's 110, 115 degrees. The longest leg will be from Pango Pango to Hawaii. That could be as long as 19 to 20 hours based on the weather. When everything you do or don't do could depend on whether you make it to your destination, you're not going to be bored. You know, engine management, fuel management, watching the winds. I'm on my own out there. Mm -hmm. There's nobody there to help me. So that stimulates the brain and I think will keep me, keep me occupied. My dad said, he said, you know, you only go around once. If you do it right, once is enough. I, I try and get the most out of any given day. And this, this trip is kind of pushing that to the extreme. Am I scared? To some degree, because there is risk. I think I've done everything in my power to mitigate those risks. But there are risks flying a single engine airplane. Am I excited? Absolutely. I do know that luck has always been with me. Um, and I'm hoping that continues.